Okay, today I'm going to paint the bilge. So I'm going to get in there and clean it out with a tack cloth. All my stickiness went away. I guess it just needed a little extra uh, time to uh, cure. The uh, That also helped too. That's a little Stanley heater for $49 at Lowe's. And uh, it really uh, heats up this garage pretty good. Uh, of course, I've got the garage door insulated and all these walls are insulated because there's a room above me and a room to that side and a room to that side so all I did to insulate was a garage and keeps it pretty darn warm so you know, I guess it ended up curing everything everything's nice and uh, hard so I just need to wipe out the dust and I'm going to put one coat of this bilge coat down there that I, if you remember correctly, I tinted kind of a sand color to match the uh, cream color of our uh, boat so it doesn't look so stark white so, anyway, here I go. Okay, so mental note number one. Uh, when you buy a quart jar of paint and you get a four inch brush, it makes it hard to go down and get paint on the brush. So, problem solved. Got myself a little Tupperware dish. I'm sure the wife's gonna love me for stealing out of the kitchen. But, paintbrush fits. Problem solved. Well, if anyone wonders why that bilge coat is $37 a quart, I can tell you why. It's awesome. Um, it covered so beautifully. I mean, it absolutely, and barely, I, barely, I probably used a quarter of this thing on, for the first coat. I plan on putting at least two coats down. If anybody thinks I should use more, let me know. But I tell you, it is very, very thick on the way it goes on. I guess it's not really thick, but it just covers well. And I went all inside the... Uh, the holes and around the outside of the little transom hole there. And I went around the, the back side of the, the transom a little bit. I just kind of created a, a basic line here because this is where I'm going to paint the Rust-Oleum all the way up the sides, all the way back, and then behind the transom. I didn't want to use the expensive stuff on that since it's not exposed to the grease and stuff like that the engine's going to be putting out. And supposedly the bilge coat is all about that. So, but anyway. That's done and first coat's done and it really was easy to deal with. The stuff is super simple to work with just like any other paint, but just it's a high quality paint. And yes, it's a little bit darker than what I thought. I guess the girl at Lowe's is colorblind, but uh, it was actually darker than that. It actually is kind of lightened up a little bit. So we'll see what it does over the next oh, hour or so. But the Rust-Oleum is for sure three or four shades dark, uh, lighter than this, which I guess is going to look cool. We're going to get a little contrast between the the um, outside of the bilge and the inside of the beer, bilge, yes. I've started uh, the 5 o'clock hour. But anyway, and then I'm going to get a real big bilge pump to put back there. It had a 300 hour bilge, which is sitting on the back of the boat, but I'm going to go ahead and replace it with something bigger uh, with an automatic float so I don't have to worry about it. So, anyway, okay, on to the electrics. I know uh, Keith. This is something I'm probably going to get you to help me out with, but I'm going to take a video of, um, of this underneath here. This is what I'm talking about that is underneath the, the uh, dashboard here. And it looks, I don't know if it's a um, emission module or not, but it's got actually four wires, a purple, a red, and a red, <laughs> and a black. But if anybody recognizes that, I've tried calling Glastron dealers and they don't know. And what's even funny is it's actually kind of been jury-rigged in here with butt connectors. So I have no idea. My next thing, once I get all this paint done, is to actually pull all this down and trace these wires. But if anybody can tell me what this deal is, that's a million dollar question right now. But uh, anyway, I guess so long for now. And uh, I'll do this next coat probably tomorrow when it dries up.